News 12 local headlines from EPB. This is the place for the latest news from around the Tennessee Valley and North Georgia. Hello everybody, it's me Andrew Harrison. Here's a look at what's making headlines for you right now. City of Ringgold is honoring our deceased veterans with the Festival of Flags. Fallen veterans are honored twice each year. Each flag is anchored with the white cross with the name of the veteran and the branch of service. And each year Ringgold honors more than 2,000 veterans. It's just a good feeling. I can say the people that was willing, willing to serve, and uh, that's just about the best way. It just gives you a good feeling. You just feel good about yourself. For our country, so many countries that don't have the freedom we have, uh, we need to protect it. Pete Pedigo is right. Ringgold will keep on putting up flags on Sunday, and volunteers are encouraged to come on out and help out. Well, ahead of Memorial Day weekend, Thrive Regional Partnership planned a truck driving simulation and transportation safety event with the regional partners out at Georgia and Tennessee Welcome Centers. This Share the Road program featured truck driving simulators that also allowed drivers to experience driving a tractor trailer, testing out various road interactions with commercial vehicles in a safe and educational environment. And we've got a lot of travelers about to get on the road for this weekend. So we wanted to make sure that we, you know, kept everybody informed about safety patterns and trends. So we've brought some truck driving simulations here with our colleagues at the Public Safety Department, um, just so that people and travelers can get a sense of what it's like to even drive an 18 wheeler, which is really, really cool and informative. Eye opening, you might say. This hands on simulator serves as a wake up call for many of us drivers, illustrating the potential dangers they might encounter on the road if they don't stay attentive. Pay attention, everybody. I do thank you for joining us for your News 12 headlines, and we'll be back in a mere 60 seconds.